Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, the set theory operations of relational algebra in DBMS. Set theory operations in DBMS. So first of all, let us list out what are the operations, what are the set theory operations available and then we'll see the syntax and we'll see the example, right? So first, the first one is a union operation, okay? And it is denoted as the symbol U. And next, intersection, intersection, it is denoted as N. Next, set difference or we can call it as a minus and the last one cross product cross product so these are the set theory operations available in relational algebra in dbms now what is the input for all these operations so input for applying all these operations are two relations two relations so here in the relational model, a relation is nothing but a table. Okay. So here we have, we are supposed to give a two tables as an input. And after applying these operations, set theory operations, we will get one relation. One relation. That means we have to apply these set theory operations on two tables so that we will get the result as a one table. Right. So for this, we require two tables. So first let me give the two tables, so I will take a course ID, a course name, only two fields, a simple example. So let us take one table, so course ID 101, let it be C++, 102, let it be DBMS, 103, let it be Python. This is one table. And let us take one more table. So course ID, course name. So course ID 101, C++, 104, Java, 105, C. Right? So let us take these two tables. Let it be the relation R. Let it be the relation S. Yes. The name of this relation is R and the name of the relation is S. Yes. Now, we are supposed to apply the set theory operations on these two relations. So, let us see. First, coming with the union. Coming with the union. So, union means it will return all the tuples of both the relations and it will automatically delete the duplicates. So, resultant relation is R union S. So this R union S will be having all the tuples, all the tuples, we can call it as a tuples or records or entities, whatever it may be. All the tuples of R and S. Okay, it will contain all the tuples of both the relations, R and S. And the second important point is, second important point is, automatically, it will remove duplicates. It will remove the duplicates. So, if you observe here, in this example, the relation R is having three rows or three tuples and S is having three rows or three tuples, right? So what is the resultant of these two? That means R union S will be having again five rows because you can observe 101 is a common tuple. 
so it will be deleted okay there will be no duplication so the result of this one will be so course id and the course name and you will get 101 with a c++ 102 with a dbms 103 with a python 104 with java 105 with a c so this will be the result and set that is r union yes so here you can observe 101 course id 101 that with a c++ is a common tuple in both the relations so it should not be repeated here so the one property for this union is it will automatically it removes the duplicates it automatically removes the duplicates right so hope you understood okay so uh, in the previous session we have seen the unary operations like uh, selection and projection so simply you can write it as selection of r union selection of yes so this is nothing but our union operation this is nothing but our union operation right so next next the next one is intersection intersection and it is denoted as n so the resultant relation will be r n s so it will what is the what are the tuples that are included in r intersection yes so all the tuples that are common in both r and yes so it will return the tuples it will return the tuples which are common okay which are common so now you can observe see again it will delete the duplicates okay so what is the common relation you can observe 101 and c++ is available in both the relations so r intersection yes so 101 okay 101 and c++ will be available in the resultant uh, relation right so 102 it is available in r but not is uh, not available in yes so you should not consider 102 right 103 which is available in r but not in yes yeah 101 which is available in yes and also available in r so 101 104 which is available in yes but not in r so should not include so this is should be included this should be included so 105 which is available in yes but not in r so this is also not included so what is the result so result is the common tuple or common record which is available in both the relations r and yes so that is called the intersection so you can observe here 101 is available here so we get 101 c++ again when you compare with this second relation again we are having 101 with the c++ so we should not include this one so it will remove all the duplicates only it will give the common uh, common tuples which are available in both the relations r and yes that is about the intersection then then the next one is minus or set difference we'll see so this is a r and this is a s so next one is set difference or minus so it is represented with a minus symbol it is represented with a minus symbol so here the resultant resultant relation resultant relation will be r minus s resultant relation will be r minus s so what is available in r minus s r minus s so it will contain all the tuples 
all the tuples of relation r of relation r but not in relation s right so it should contain all the tuples of relation r but not in relation s so we have to consider those relations so if you observe here what is the resultant here so let us take uh, cid and the course name the course id and course name and you can observe here let us consider 101 so which is available in yes so we should not consider this 101 right 102 it's not available so 102 the course name is dbms 103 which is available in r but not in yes you can observe here so 103 with a python so this will be the result of r minus yes so it contains the tuples of relation r but not in yes so here 101 is available so 101 should not be included here and similarly you can consider s minus r s minus r means it should contain all the tuples of relation yes but not in r so let us take here so course id and course name see 101 which is available in r so we should not consider this 101 104 which is not available here so 104 with uh, name java 105 is also not available in r okay 105 c so this will be s minus r and this will be r minus s r minus s so the symbol is minus and it is a set difference so it will remove all the common elements of s from r okay it will remove the elements of s from r right so it will it will give all the tuples of r which are not available in s which are not available in yes right so hope you understood this one set difference or minus and the last one that is set uh, sorry cross product or a cartesian product see let us take the student id yes id and s name s name right so let it be the student id is s1 the name is sandeep and student 2 sarabhi let it be this is a r relation r this is a relation s now the next one is cross product cross product or cartesian product we can also call it as a cartesian product and it is displaced, it is represented as a cross into math so the resultant relation the resultant relation will be r cross s r cross s so what will be available in r cross s so every tuple every tuple of r is associated with is associated with every tuple every tuple of yes every tuple of yes so every tuple of r is associated with every tuple of yes now here if r is having three rows and s is having Two rows so the resultant r cross s will be having 3 into 2 rows so total 6 rows because every tuple of r will be associated with every tuple of s see what is the result let us take this one so c id c name and s id s name so this will be the resultant uh, relation this will be the resultant relation see how the cross product or a cartesian product will be applied 
So every tuple of R, that means 101 C plus plus is associated with a student 1 named Sandeep. Similarly, every tuple of R, that means 101 C plus plus is associated with S1 name is Sandeep. Right? So every tuple of R is associated with every tuple of S. So 101, C++, S1 and Sandeep. 101, C++, S2 and Sarave. Similarly, 102, DBMS, S1, sorry, this is S2, right? S1, Sandeep. Similarly, 102, DBMS associated with student 2, name Sarave. Similarly, the third one, 103, Python is associated with a student 1, Sandeep. 103, Python, student 2, Sarah. So, this is called the Cartesian product R cross S. Yes. Cross product or Cartesian product. Okay every tuple of first relation will be associated with every tuple of second relation so this is called the cross product or cartesian product so these are all the set operations of relational algebra in dbms union intersection set difference and cross product right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding any one of these uh, set, of, set theory operations, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.